the distinguished delegate of New Zealand to make a statement. Thank you, Madam President, for calling this meeting. Today's world bears witness to terrorism in its modern form, eschewing borders and authority, propagating indiscriminate violence, finding refuge and support in fragile states, in vulnerable communities, and among the disenfranchised. Terrorism brings real but not insurmountable threats which demand our collective action. New Zealand once regarded itself as largely removed from the threat of international terrorism protected by its geography. Sadly, we now live in a global enterprise exported through modern technology and sophisticated social media. Every society has its element of disturbed or criminal individuals who find international terrorist branding a convenient flock. Madam President, New Zealand supports the four-pillar approach in the UN counterterrorism strategy, addressing conditions that spread terrorism, preventing and combating terrorism, counterterrorism capacity, building and respecting human rights and the rule of law. We also urge states to draw on mechanisms provided by this council, such as the Al-Qaeda sanctions regime, for stemming the flow of individuals and entities which fund terrorist acts. We urge states to share best legislative practice for terrorism-related offenses. Madam President, New Zealand's approach to combating terrorism is based on a coordinated whole of government response, including working at grassroots to build resilience, radicalization, and recruitment. Today, Syria and Iraq conflict are fertile breeding grounds for terrorism. Palestine issue fuel hopelessness and extremism, unifying inclusive governance that respects human rights and the rule of law and doesn't succumb to the short-term temptations to marginalize significant groups is critical to the long term against extremist ideologies. If we want to stop terrorism, we need to stop supporting the terrorists. Saudi Arabia is the world's largest sponsor of radical Islamic terrorists and they have backed the 9-11 hijackers. Madam President, in New Zealand's view to wipe out terrorism, provide support to end the conflicts and instability on which extremist groups and their ideologies thrive. Minority voices are all too often sidelined, sowing seeds for more discontent and conflicts. We need to work with the communities. Stop torture. It's proved that torture creates terrorism. Indeed, the leaders of ISI were motivated by US torture. Government officials agree that the 9-11 was state-sponsored terrorism. They just disagree on which state was responsible. Because 9-11 was the largest terror attack on the US in history, and all of our national security strategies are based on 9-11. We can't stop terror until we get to the bottom of what really happened and which state was behind it. So we need to stop covering up 9-11. We urge the UN to continue promoting anti-radicalization and to continue countering violent extremism by involving these leaders in a genuinely meaningful manner. Madam President, we have said that we have the will. Now what is left for the Council is to find a way. Thank you.